sheep, don't do it. You've got so much to live for. What is going down in Groove Town, people of the internet? This is Sam Marsden, and I am doing a little bit more of my building tutorials for the little Minecraft Village project I've been doing. Now, last time we did a medieval farmhouse, I made a few little changes. For one, I took the little supports off this end of it. I turned the full box on the roof into half slabs, which I put in an annotation in the video, I believe. And did a bit of inside decorating, and I'm going to show you how to do this fireplace later on. Despite me originally saying I wasn't going to do one. And instead of, yeah, instead of waiting for spawn eggs, I just put a few chickens in there. So, what are we working on today? Well, as you can see from the title, we are doing a hunting lodge. And you may think, hold on, why are you doing a hunting lodge? It's still early days. That's the point. For now, we've just got this farm. Now, the few villagers that live here, they can't just survive on bread or eggs all year round or the occasional bit of chicken. You know, they need actual proper meat. And they don't know the slightest thing about going out hunting cows, hunting pigs, all that sort of stuff. All that shizwaz. So, a hunter's lodge. It works for the practical hunting side of things. And also defending from those horrible beasties in the night. Now, here, as per what I did last time, we've got our compulsory blocks. Well, the second layer here is more optional. But, this bottom layer is what I take more compulsory. So I'll just quickly scroll through that so you can see what you need. Here's the optional, but I highly recommend you do it. And just a bit of dirt there in case I mess this up. Right, so the starting point is we are going to do it. Uh, yeah, let's do it with a 4x4 in this kind of way. And we'll do four of these. So like that, that's our start point. And just kind of magic came on mine. So the next thing, I want to kind of give this a bit of a raised surface, because think about it, you've got all these insects crawling on the floor, they're going to be after, you know, all this fresh, you know, stuff that people have, you know, they've worked hard to try and get. You don't want ants coming along and doing stuff. Next thing, we're just going to increase the height in these corners a little bit. It's not a particularly huge building. Let's put it that way. And yeah, let's cobblestone up this bit. I'm going to do two layers. Just like I said, we want to give it a slightly raised surface. a little bit there. Right, now we're going to work on putting these logs up a little bit more. Don't know why I need to say about that. <laughs> it's uh, pretty obvious what I'm doing. And we'll just come across here with a bit more of a fence. And we'll put in stairs there. But we'll just do it like that. Okay. So that's the basics for our hunting lodge. Now we want to work on building up the walls a bit. Now in terms of where we're going to put windows, we're going to stick them on this end bit. And like with the peasant house, we're going to have fences. Looks up onto its fourth log. Wood in between there. And up there. So that's going to be where we're going to have our door. I might as well get in now. Right. So that's looking good. Now this next bit, we're going to bring out the sort of roof like this. So it's a bit of a different shape as to that one. Because think about it, that one's a prop, uh, kind of thatched roof, which is our inspiration. So it's not going to have these like little woody outcrops. Wood in. I just made up another word, didn't I? This is going to have like a proper wooden roof. Well, that's the inspiration for it anyway. That's the idea behind it. The 
reason I decided to have these little outcrops is it makes it look a bit more 3D. But, I mean, it looks better than if it was just flat. But I think we should also extend on the ends a bit. So we'll get rid of that bit and we'll work the roof on in that way, direction as well. Should have to work on the top. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to work on this little bit here. Keep putting things in the wrong places. Ah, so frustrating. What'd be even more frustrating is if a creeper just decided to come along with a very nice hunting lodge you have there. And yeah, you probably get where I'm going with that. Saying anything particularly important right now. Um, is there anything important I can particularly say just while I'm doing this a little bit? Well, TU9 is currently in the works. Well, in fact, it's actually in cert testing, so maybe even in the next few days I'll get a video out of me fighting the Ender Dragon with some friends. Be pretty cool. Cow, get out of the way. Right, just stick a torch there because it needs a little bit of lighting. Right, so that's the basic structure of the hunting lodge. Now we used all these blocks except for these. Don't, those don't really need them. Or they might might do for a little bit of decor, which is what we're going to go work on now. Right, I'm going to need some of these as well. Got the cobblestone slab uh, tied up. I'll get them when I need them. So one of the first things is outside. We're gonna have like a little fire spit or whatever you call it. I think it is a spit, isn't it? This is how we start it off. Oh, let's get that bit. Obviously, you're gonna have them because you should leave them. It's just. I don't like doing things by halves. So I want to do these big builds. I can't stand leaving buildings half done without an interior. That's just me. I know a lot of builders do that. Now you can leave the fireplace like that. Which personally I prefer to have a half slab. I don't know why I didn't get them in the sort of prerequisite materials which I apologise for don't need them now. Also need a sort of somewhere to wash the hands, you know, if they've been handling meat, been skinning things. Don't need these anymore either. And so I think what'll be the next step here? To be honest, I think we could probably say that is it. We could do a bit on interior furnishings show you how to do a little table so as you don't know how. First we just pop down the hunter's bed. It probably will not work on so maybe there would be another hunter in there. A couple of chests down just for their personal belongings. Just another cauldron full of water so they can you know wash. And that kind of looks like a like a rack that they could hang drying meats on. I was gonna table. That's what I was gonna do. I'm not with it today. I'm really tired. I think it's the recent weather. It's been horrible. That's mm, probably won't know if you're watching this after it's been, you know, uploaded. But Britain's been having some pretty horrible weather at the moment. It's been shocking. Tiny little bit of light now. Okay, and that is the hunting lodge. Now, if there are any little things you could think of that would tweak the design, make it look a bit better, once again, feel free to. This is just the rough outlines of what you can do. Obviously, that's the beauty of Minecraft. You can change, adapt, do whatever you want. So, if you like the build, if you like the commentary, hit that like and the subscribe button, and I'll get back with some more of these vids as soon as possible. Sam Marsden out.